when you focus on the breath, you're trying to bring all the things in your present awareness right here. You've got your body, you've got the mind, you've got feelings. And you can shape them in a skillful way. That way you don't have to suffer from pains that come up either in the body or disturbing emotions in the mind, disturbing feelings in the mind. You have a place where you can step back and watch them. So you stay with the breath coming in, going out, make the breath comfortable. And you realize that the all kinds of feeling potentials in the body, you can choose which ones offer the most promise for a sense of ease and well-being. Simply by the way you change your breathing is going to have an impact on that. And then as you gain a sense of ease in the breath, you can think of that ease spreading through the body, and that will change your direct experience of the body right now. This is an exercise in seeing how much you can change in the present moment. So you're not the victim of pains or a victim of unpleasant emotions when they come. You can step out of them, and then you can develop more pleasant ones, better ones, more skillfully. Because the meditation is a skill. It takes time. In the beginning you may not see many results, but as you get into it you begin to see more and more that you really can change your relationship, say, to pain. You change your relationship to pleasure, too. You begin to realize instead of just wallowing in any pleasure that comes along, you can step back from it and think of it spreading, so it actually increases the pleasure. And as for pain, you can step out of that, too. You don't have to be standing in the line of fire. You have a more pleasant place to stand, then you look at the pains and say, oh, there's that pain there. What is this pain? You don't, when you don't feel threatened by it, then you can be more interested in it. And when you're more interested in it, you're not the victim anymore. You're like the doctor checking it out. And you begin to understand what it was about pain that had you so scared, and you're not so scared anymore. These are important skills to develop. And this is why we meditate. It takes time to develop this kind of skill, but it's a skill worth having. So try to focus on the breath in the very beginning and keep it as comfortable and as refreshing as you can. And if you keep that up, you'll notice that there are differences in the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about people around you. And that right there is one of the beginning results of the meditation that you can carry into your daily life. 